In this video, I will show you how to transfer files remotely with secure copy command, both to and from a remote system. So here I am back to my laptop. Uh, this is actually not a remote system, this is my laptop. And here I'm going to create a directory called uh, test and then I'll cd into this directory. So this is my laptop. And here I'm going to create an empty file uh, that I will call a1.txt. So here we have this file. And then I will transfer this file to uh, my home folder on Cassiopeia cluster, a user 120. So what I'm going to do is I will type secure copy command. So what we're moving the source followed by the destination. So the destination is going to be I'm user 120 on the Cassiopeia cluster, user 120 at cassiopeia.c3.ca and then column. And then if I don't add anything, then it will simply copy this file into my home folder. Optionally, if I want to copy it in some other folder, let's say into the TMP folder, then I will just add the name of the folder uh, to the path after the column. So in this case, uh, this is a path relative to my home directory. If I want to have an absolute path, then I will just add it like that. So for example, user, just an example, user uh, home, user 120, team P, and that will work as well, right? But there is no need to supply this full absolute path. So let's try to run this command and see if it works. It worked. And notice that I did not have to type my password. And the reason is, and we're going to cover this in more detail in the introduction to HPC course, is I have set up a pair of SSH keys. There is a uh, private key on my laptop and a public key in my home directory uh, on uh, the Cassiopeia cluster, home directory of user 120. And having uh, this pair of keys allows me to transfer files and to log into the remote system without having to type my password every time, which is super useful. So uh, let me log into the cluster and I'll simply type SSH followed by user120 at the name of the cluster. And then I'll go into the TMP directory into which I just copied my file and do ls. And as you can see now, there is a file a1.txt. Okay. So let me rename this file. I'll call it something else. Um, so I'm going to say move a1 into a2.txt. Okay. And actually, let's uh, just edit it uh, very quickly. Uh, I will add a single line. Uh, this is a quick test. Okay. So I have this file a2.txt. Inside of it, I have this single line. This is a quick test. And now let me transfer this file. So I just logged out of the uh, training cluster. I'm back on my home machine on my laptop. And I'm going to use the same secure copy command to copy a remote file into the current directory. So I'm going to say secure copy. The file is at user 20, 120 at kcp.c3.ca. And I'm just going to use a relative path this time. So it's a TMP folder in my home directory and the file is called a2.txt and then space and dot. So there are two arguments, secure copy, the source and destination. So dot is the destination, the current directory. And it worked. Again, I don't have to have my password. Let's do ls. Now I have both files. And now if I do a cat on a2.txt, you see now I have uh, this file that I added it on the cluster and then I I copied it to my to my laptop. Similarly, you can use secure copy command to move files between two remote systems. So in this case, you will issue a secure copy followed by source and a destination, and both the source and the destination will have a more complex path, which will tell you which system, which account, and then uh, the path and the name of the file that you're copying from and to.